This is the most ridiculous speaker test you're ever going to see and watch. On the left, you have the Evolve 50. On the right, you have the ELX 212P, the ELX 18SP sub. Some might ask, why am I comparing these two? The reason is it all comes down to price 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 that's important i know i have a lot of people watching my videos watching my gig logs and they see me rocking with the evolve uh, for most of my weddings and i love the evolves but i just wanted to introduce those djs especially those beginners to the point source system i that this is basically where i came from i started with uh, mackies and jbls and you name it i went through all the speakers this has its purpose for those larger events, the bigger events where the column speaker may not be enough, you need this thing. And Tom Wags, what's up? This is my dog. You agree? I think he agrees. What do you think? All right, so let's, let's talk about price. So for two Evolves right now, you can Google it. It's about, I want to say a little less than 4,000. For the same amount, for the same amount, you can get two ELX 12P, tops and two ELX 218 SP bottoms for the same amount. So you tell me, YouTube, you tell me, which one would you get? You have $4,000 for some reason and you want to spend it on a, on, a, on a speaker system, which one would you get? Honestly, if I had to do it over again, I would most likely stick with the point source. And here's why. This offers a little bit more versatility. I can do a little bit bigger events with these. I can only use the tops if I want to. I can use one sub if I want to. And it's just a little bit more versatile. Uh, as you can see, I have it in white, so I still get that white, that nice, elegant look. Um, but as I age, as I get older, as we all do, I find myself turning to this thing here because it's not only sleek, it's easy to set up, and the most important thing is the sound is great. The sound is great. Uh, recently, I find myself using uh, the Evolves with my ELX subs, and the combination is, is tremendous. But I went out and got a few of these wife hands approved. <laughs> um, these are for my bigger events. I needed something a little bit more. I sold all of my previous speakers. I sold my JBLs, I sold my RCFs. RCFs, by the way, are banging speakers. If you're looking for good speakers, check out RCF. But right now, I'm rocking with EV, baby. Without further ado, let's get into the battle. Like I said, this is the most ridiculous, ridiculous uh, speaker comparison you're ever gonna see. But I guarantee you, someone who's looking for speakers, I guarantee you, they're looking and they're comparing these two. So let me do it for you. So here's what I'm using to furnish the music. I have my iPhone going into an auxiliary into my Yamaha MG06 mixer. And then I have my iPad controlling the entire system. So what we're gonna do is play the song and then mute each. As a bonus, this is what I'm gonna do because I've been using the Evolve with the ELX. I'll also do that where I add the ELX to the Evolve and see how it sounds. Now, this is not a fair comparison. I do expect the 18 inch subwoofer with the ELX 12P top to outperform the Evolve 50. So this, my friends, is all about perspective. We are recording from my iPhone 13 and we're gonna use that mic. So that's the mic you're gonna hear for both system. It's, I always say this, it's a relative test. So relatively speaking, you should be able to tell the difference between the two of them. All right, um, so here we go.
YouTube, that was a test. So let me tell you my thoughts. The EV Evolve 50 surprised me again. The dynamic sound, everything that's coming from it is just a magical, magical sound. And I wish and I hope EV make a 15 or 18 inch Evolve, please. Cause this thing, I want this thing heavy. I want my bass. When I use my ELX, it works great. But yo, the EV Evolve 50s, these things are magical. The ELX 212P, it did its thing too. Um, what I've noticed is the sound that's coming out of it is it's much louder. Um, it's not as dynamic as the Evolve, but I can tell that when it's pushed, this thing is gonna be a lot louder than my Evolves. But for my weddings for 150 under, I'm still bringing my Evolves. For my bigger events, for my school dances, um, for my bar mitzvah where I need loud sound, I'm taking this thing and you better believe it, I have two of these two columns, I have two uh, 12s and two 18s. So I can imagine when I turn those things up, I don't think I'm gonna be limited. In fact, I almost guarantee that people are gonna ask me to turn it down. And that's what I like as a DJ. Here's the thing. I know we talked about price and these two things are the same price. It's a tough decision, tough decision because I love my Evolve 50s, love, love, love them. And um, I think for, for a lot of events, for what I do, I can, I can rock with this. Give me this and the 18 inch subwoofer, one of them, just one, and I'm good for most of my events. But as a Caribbean, when I get my backyard joints and I want to turn it up, you know I'm bringing these things, you know it. Thank you for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. If not for me, for my boy, Tommy Wise. Give me a high five, high five. All right. <laughs> He's gonna get me a lot of subscribers. Good job, Tommy Wise, good job. Good job, Bubba. Oh, come here, boy. Come here, boy.